Welcome back to News 46. Let's join Darby O'Donnell with the dog available right now at Desert Haven Animal Society. Hi, I'm Darby here at Desert Haven Animal Society, and today we are joined with Ivan. Ivan is a very interesting looking dog. He is a Dotson and Lab mix. He's golden color. He has a little itty bitty body and like a Labrador head. <laughs> he's really cute though, and he has a lot of energy, and he's running around, and he gets along with everybody, and you should come and see him because he's so cute. So come on down to Desert Haven Animal Society. They're on Siri Lane, which is behind the Nye County Carhouse. That's on Basin Avenue. You can give them a call at 775-751-7020, or you can look them up on Facebook at Desert Haven Animal Society. And the Moose Lodge is hosting a fundraiser this Sunday for the Nye County School District. Today is a great day. We have been having people come since a little bit before 3, and it's just been a real steady afternoon, and uh, everybody seems to be just loving it. So we're so a fundraiser for the Moose Lodge. Yes, it is. It's, a, it's, um, a, it's for the Moose Lodge this time. So we're real happy with our turnout. We've got another hour to go. Um, as you can see, we've got the karaoke going, and um, it's open to everybody. And you can get up there and sing again. <laughs> um, well, I, I think Mike and the um, crew's got it handled up there. I know that uh, there was a pig that you guys roasted for a long time to get ready for this, and that's what you're serving. Yes, they, they uh, started well, kind of yesterday morning into afternoon, got the fire going now back here. We've got kind of a tin shed. And um, then when I got here uh, about four o'clock yesterday afternoon, help with fish fry, they had the piggy putting it on the spit to get it ready to put in there. So, um, and then there was several of them that manned the fire and the pig all night long because it, it um, takes about, well, they said it was around 150 pound pig. Wow. So um, that they said 16, 20 some hours, you know, and uh, of course it's kind of slow roasting with it slowly going around and yeah. and. Uh, and several horse vaulting teams competed at McCullough Arena recently. The sport has been gaining popularity all over the United States. In the U.S. there's different regions and then we have a national competitions where all the regions come together and compete. But this is basically just like Southern California, Nevada, sometimes we have New Mexico attend, Utah. Um, that's kind of what our region is. Tell me what vaulting is. So vaulting in basic terms is gymnastics and dance atop horseback. It's kind of unique in the sense that we're judged on both artistic scores, you get a score, your horse gets a score, and then the scores are combined to get an overall score. Do the athletes use their own horses or do people share horses? So you can bring your own horse or you can also share horses. It just depends on your personal circumstances. Mm -hmm. Tell me about these horses in general. Are they uh, trained for this specifically? Yes. Um, overall, horses usually can be trained like their entire lives. We, we don't use them in competition until they're five or six years old. And even then, we spend like even up to seven years training them before they're really a finished vaulting horse. Is there a specific breed that you use? We use a lot of warm bloods and a lot of drafts, draft horses. Uh, pretty much any breed is allowed, but the bigger the better. Let's talk about the athletes. Um, what age do you normally start vaulting? Um, in our club, we start vaulting at age five. Um, it's different in every club. Some people who have kids, and like if they vaulted and they have a kid, they'll start them at like three or four even. So I'm assuming you both are vaulters? Yes. yes. Tell me how you like it. It's, it's really fun. I mean, it's vaulting and with your horse, you never know what's going to happen. Even if you're the best athlete and you can go on a different horse and your routine's going to feel completely different. And it's, I mean, it's never, you never know exactly what's going to happen. I like it because it's unique and it's something different that nobody else does. And so it kind of gives me an edge. So is this your first time up here to prompt? Um, our first time in Pahrump, usually regionals is in Vegas or Mojave, so. How do people find out more about the vaulting organization itself? Uh, they can go to AmericanVaulting.org to find out more information, find a club near them. They can 
contact a club that they already know of or friends that are in the sport. Well, one of our neighbor's dogs are missing and she is very worried. Please help find Chica. She's a Chihuahua. She looks to be rust colored. She's missing for about two days from Michael Drive. Chica wears a black collar with contact information on it. She's shy and nine years old and has cataracts. If you have any information about Chica, you can give Colette a phone call at 775-513-0629. And we'll have your weather right after this break.